Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, this morning I am, I'm actually on a little break right now getting my coffee because I'm doing um, some interview, a couple of interviews for the book. So you guys know my book came out during, right, right at the beginning of the coronavirus stuff. Uh, so I was supposed to have some in-person interviews, uh, TV, like TV interviews and stuff, but um, due to the, due to the Rona, those things ended up getting delayed and so now I'm doing now that a lot of shows have adjusted and are doing uh, like Skype interviews instead of having people in studio or whatever that's I'm that's what I'm doing so I'm doing a couple of interviews this morning and so I've done one and now I have about 20 more minutes until I have to be back in my room for the other and it's so funny because it's like at the old house you know I had my office so I could go out there and kind of control the background and stuff and here I'm just like I don't really know where to do it so we're just I'm doing it in my room I just literally have my laptop on a chair and I'm sitting on a footstool and it's the most like probably unprofessional thing ever but it's the best I can come up with right now so uh, anyways so I did the first interview and I'm here alone because CR took the kids um, to the park. Sierra and his mom took the kids to the park and to get some donuts and stuff like that just because I obviously have to have it like guaranteed quiet. I can't have my kids come busting in in the middle of a live television <laughs> interview. So they just left the house. Um, but I didn't know that my dad was coming over to work on fences. So I came out of my room at, because I heard somebody in the house. I mean to tell you that <clears throat> I was about to uh, to grab some weaponry um, <laughs> because I, I heard I heard somebody in the house so I came out and I brought this camera with me because I was gonna turn it on like as evidence just in case somebody came in here and tried to try to me so I come out of my room I'm like ready ready to fight okay I'm ready and I hear from the bathroom Angie I'm in here and I was like what? But I recognized that it was my dad's voice. And I was like, Jeff, is that you? He was like, I'm in the bathroom. I was like, I nearly killed you. Like, I nearly <laughs> So anyways, now that I've had a mild heart attack, gotten myself a second cup of coffee, went to the bathroom, because after that, you know I had to go to the bathroom. You know. So <laughs> all of that has been taken care of. Um, and he's out here working on the fences and I'm gonna go get set up again for interview number two. And then after that, I'm really hoping that I can get this dang barnyard finished. I've been filming the entire process all the way through from the setting of the barns <clears throat> to now, the fencing, everything, to do one big video about turning these storage sheds into barns and you know the like sort of before and after of making the barnyard videos like that are so fun and satisfying to watch when you get to watch the full thing you don't have to just like watch it in increments you get to see it it's just like a grassy spot and then a complete barnyard with fencing and stuff i love i love watching stuff like that the point is though is i really need to get this done so that i can finish the video so i am about 75 percent done with painting the fence post black unfortunately what really stinks is that I don't know if any of you guys are like this, okay? Maybe you ladies, you feel me. You plan what you're doing based on whether or not you uh, have showered, whether you've washed your hair, whether you've done your makeup, whether, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I try, at least this is part of how I get things done. Maybe this makes me sound crazy. It's part of how I get things done is that if I have gotten up and showered and done my hair and makeup, then I will try to do as many of the things that I would like to do you know, like if there's anything I need to film or Instagram stories that I need to film or if there's anything that I need to do where I would like to look presentable, I try to do those things on that day. And then days where I'm going to stay in my pajamas all day or I'm going to work in the yard or I'm going to get paint all over me and stuff like that, I try to save those for days where I have not just washed my hair or, you know what, I, does that make sense? It makes sense. I know it does. I know I'm not the only one. So, because I had these interviews today, I got up really early this morning at like 5.30. I've showered, I've done my hair, I've put my makeup on, I've got myself all dressed. And that black paint that I have to use on that fence gets everywhere. When I painted the other day, it's an oil-based paint. And when I painted the other day, I mean, I still think I have paint in the cuticles of my nails. It was, I had to use paint thinner to get it off of me. So now I'm like, 
such a waste of a shower, such a waste of a blow dry. You know? All right, I'm done with my interviews. I've changed my clothes, <clears throat> top, whatever, into work clothes. Texted CR. They are on the way home now. I am freezing cold for no reason. It is not that cold outside. It's not cold outside at all, arguably. I think it's probably in the 70s. It's not cold. I, but I'm freezing. I am freezing, which is why I put on this big coat. And I'm gonna probably sweat in just a few minutes. But let me go see what my padre is doing. All right, I'll show you guys in a second. CR and my dad are over there working on the hay area it's a run-in shed that's on the back side of our storage tack room uh, that we are adding some walls to to make into a hay area hay storage compartment if you will so they're working on that i got my gloves on i'm going to start working on finishing painting the fencing black i have lots of um help gray nana's inside with the kids trying to get as much done as we can while she's here to help with the kids because it's such a help uh, so she's inside with the, the little kids. I've got these kids and pigs. Hi. They're so cute. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna start working on this fencing and then later I gotta go back out and get some more spray paint and I'll probably be out of fence paint as well. I don't think I'm gonna have enough to finish. But got my ear earbuds in, we'll listen to some podcasts and uh, get to work. All right, I'm out here painting and they come cruising by. <laughs> My parents dropped off the golf cart. These kids are happy as pigs in mud. Hello. Bye. Bye. Hold on. All right. Sierra and I are getting ready to go to the airport and go um, to Hawaii. <laughs> We're just going to go. Just kidding. <laughs> One way ticket, please. Take We're going to Home Depot. I got my nice jeans. So that we can get some more paint. Oh no, oh no, you gotta go. Oh, oh no, no. no. Millie's been doing this every time we leave. How did she know? I don't, the door was opened by Noah and oh. left open. There's not a car seat in here for her to go with us. I can't get one. We have a stowaway. She made it aboard. <laughs> she gets sad when she gets left at home, so she's gonna come with us. Sometimes, I mean, this is extremely rare for her to go someplace with both parents alone and no other siblings. She's kind of a Just living the high life today, boo boo. She's still kind of angry at us for attempting we to leave the, the house with her. We took her to the park today and she was an animal at the park. Like in a good way. She was, she was riding everything. What? You don't see the green bug? The, I don't you see the green bug? Where do you uh, see the green no, bug? No, I don't see it right now. Oh, it's on the Oh, this right here is just a leaf on the windshield. It's a green bug. Okay. Okay. You say so, Boo Boo. Are those brown bugs up there? Yeah. Okay. Green bug. All right, Mommy's gotta drive this horse. Kids asked us for mellow mushroom pizza. We got some pizza. Are you awake? Well, welcome back, Mimi. Hello. You want some pizza pizza? <laughs> you want some pizza? Oh, she's I think she just belched. Here comes number one. Who does, does number two work for? I just came in from painting fences. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I have like a huge mosquito bite. I get like allergic to them. You can see that one, one in my eyebrow, and then another one up in my hairline right there. And there's one like back here on my cheek that I can feel, but they like welt up. And that's what I get for painting fences at dusk. And I wonder why the mosquitoes, why I was the person who got bit by a malaria mosquito in Uganda. It's because mosquitoes love me. I guess I have the blood type or whatever. Now my face itches though, and it's driving me crazy. And I also have black paint, black fence paint all over me. So I'm gonna wash my face and get ready for bed. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully I'll have the barn before and after up soon as well. We're making progress guys, more horses coming soon. And the most exciting thing, the last three of the new critters that will be joining us this year 
then we'll be done for the year with critters. The last three critters are coming by the end of the month. And I actually just found out today that we're getting them all on the same day, which I wasn't anticipating, but I'll explain more later. So I love it if y'all would guess and tell me what you think the last three critters are. Uh, it's two of one type and one of another type. So it's only two different types of animals, but three animals. I wish we had comments on this channel so bad, but go to my Instagram and guess what you think the last three animals will be that join us this year. It's not horses because those are still coming. Those are my parents' horses though. So anyways, that's it y'all. I'll see you guys soon.